My measure of success is whether I'm fulfilling my mission. You have to look for teachers. If you want to be a mechanic, go hang out with mechanics. If you look at anyone who has achieved great success and wealth, people like Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, or Lance Armstrong, they have all focused intensely in order to win. Confidence comes from discipline and training. Real estate investing, even on a very small scale, remains a tried and true means of building an individual's cash flow and wealth. Financial Freedom is available to those who learn about it and work for it. Assets put money in your pocket, whether you work or not, and liabilities take money from your pocket. I believe that one key to success is to accept truth, no matter how it's spoken. When times are bad is when the real entrepreneurs emerge. If you're going to be a winner in life, you have to constantly go beyond your best. Most businesses think that product is the most important thing, but without great leadership, mission, and a team that deliver results at a high level, even the best product won't make a company successful. Face your fears and doubts, and new worlds will open to you. The thing I always say to people is this, if you avoid failure, you also avoid success. I resigned from the Marine Corps and flying in 1974, even though I loved them both. I quit because I no longer wanted to fight for peace. Instead, I believe we can build a more sustainable peace by working for prosperity. This 90 tenths rule holds true in almost anything financial. Take the game of golf. For example, 10% of the professional golfers make 90% of the money. All empires come to an end, and the American one is no exception. Our brains are either our greatest assets or our greatest liabilities. If you want to go somewhere, it is best to find someone who has already been there. I worked for Xerox for four years and after that I knew I was never going to be a corporate person. It wasn't my environment. If you're working for a good company and you're happy there, and you're being compensated accordingly, and your work satisfies you, you should stay there. The rich don't work for money, the rich invent money. As a bull market turns into a bear market, the new pros turn into optimists, hoping and praying the bear market will become a bull and save them. But as the market remains bearish, the optimists become pessimists, quit the profession, and return to their day jobs. This is when the real professional investors re-enter the market. If you want to thrive in today's economy, you must challenge the status quo and get the financial education necessary to succeed. An example of good debt is the debt on the apartment houses I own. That debt is good only as long as there are tenants to pay my mortgages. If tenants stop paying their rent, my good debt turns into bad debt. As long as you blame someone or something else, something outside you that's bigger than you are, as the source of your problems, the problems won't get solved. The problem with real estate is that it's local. You have to understand the local market. Jobs are a centuries-old concept created during the Industrial Revolution. Despite the reality that we're now deep in the information age, many people are studying for, or working at, or clinging to the industrial age idea of a safe, secure job. I would say raising capital is one of the weakest things for most entrepreneurs. Prophets of doom have always taken risks in terms of ridicule and humiliation. If you stand on a street corner holding up a sign that reads the end is near, 
passers-by will laugh and heckle. People will say you're like Chicken Little, running around telling people the sky is falling. Quitting is the easiest thing to do. Demographics show that we are entering a battle between young and old. I call it the age war. The young want to hang on to their money to grow their families, businesses, and wealth. The old want the tax and investment dollars of the young to sustain their old age. People say I want to be rich. The question is, are you willing to do what it takes?